Good afternoon, UK, and good evening, India. Welcome to Prash Community Learning Celebration for the International Yoga Day. Translating into Unity from Sanskrit, yoga intends to unite the body and mind to bring the harmony. Yoga has always been an important part of the Eastern culture and civilization. It's not just beneficial for the body, but also renews the mind with confidence. We are blessed to have the international, national, and state championship winner and the gold medalist Shonali, who is practicing yoga since last 16 years. Shonali does yoga from the age of four and a yoga teacher for Rotary Club, Gold's Gym, and offer a series of yoga sessions to different age groups. Without further delay, I am handing you over to our yoga guru, Shonali. Shonali, a very warm welcome. I've been doing yoga for the last 16 years and I've been teaching yoga for the last five years. Today I'm here to let all you kids know that what are the benefits of yoga and what can we do to improve our body, improve our concentration and etc. So, okay, let's get into it as soon as possible. You can see my mat. Make sure you have enough enough space around you. You should not get hurt. You should have a bottle of water. Let's start. Then, so now we are going to do a yoga flow, which in, incorporates all your body and each and every part of your body. And it includes concentration, balance. It improves your flexibility. And as well as it reduces hyperactivity. Because this is an exercise which will make you feel tired. Okay? Just let me set up the camera so that you can see me nice and good. Okay. So, if you have a mat, then well and good. If you don't have the mat, then fine. Just come in front as, uh, at the frontmost corner. Join your hands, join your legs. Look forward and we are going to start. Okay. We, we will look forward, hands join, legs join. Now, get your hands up above your head. Stretch your hands as much as you can. Heels will touch the ground. Your legs won't leave the ground. Stretch and now go back. Now we are going to go back and stay in this position. This is called Ardha Chakrashan. Okay, this is for our back. Now we are going to go front. Yes, now we are going to go front as front as possible. Come on our four hands and legs. Stretch our spine downward. And we are going to stay head down. Okay. This is called parallel fashion. This is at most front bend. Okay. Next, we are going to take one of our legs, preferably right leg back. Take your right leg back behind you as much as possible. Get your hips down, head straight. And we are going to stay in this position. Okay. Now what we are doing is Surya Namaskar. It is a series of 12 asanas which we are going to do right now. Next, bring another the other leg of you back with the right leg. Yes, press your heels down. Move all your body weight towards your leg. Make sure your knees are straight and your head is inside. You are looking at your knees. From here, we are going to go down. At this position, head straight. Very good. Now we are going to go down from here. Make sure your whole body is down, lying down. Both hands right below your shoulders. Elbows will be together. Your legs will be joined. Nose and forehead will be down. Now, Bring your upper body up till your navel, till your belly button. Get your upper body up and we are going to stay over here. Okay, next we are going to come all the way up. Back to the first posture we were doing before this. Get all of your body towards your legs. Press your, press your body weight towards your legs. Heels will be touching the ground. Okay, 
now we are going to bring our right leg back forward like this get our hips down head straight and stay in this posture okay the last opposite leg as well together head down stretch your body head down stay keep your knees straight Okay, relax. Join your hands. Get above your head and relax. Go back like a half moon. Then relax. Okay. This is called Surya Namaskar. What I have done over here right now. This is a um, a series, a flow of twelve postures that is done one after the other without a break to reduce. a lot of hyper activity when we have a lot of energy this is the best way to reduce our energy okay and what i have done over here if there is any doubt you can ask right now and uh, what i have done over here the first posture was ardha chakrasan half moon this thing is called half moon okay and after this the next posture i have done called padastasan the front bending posture is called padastasan the next posture was stretching lizard stretch the next posture was downward dog the next posture was bhujangasan and the final posture which and then uh, then we uh, sorry then we went backwards then we again went to downward dog again the opposite leg lizard stretch then again front ardha chakrasan and back okay if you have any doubts about this then i can clear this right now and then we can move on anybody with any doubt anyone you can raise your hand up now else uh, shwanali would move to the next bit we don't see anyone's hand up shwanali so i think you are um okay we can move, to move. Okay. okay yeah please thank you okay 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 so now we are done with surya namaskar this is very good if you are uh, if you don't have a lot of time or if your kid is not uh able to concentrate in something for a long time because this is something which will get them going continuously one after the other one after the other there is no stopping in this but now what we are going to do here we are going to stop a lot here we are going to do uh it in in a very systematic way step by step because these are postures okay now we are going to do postures so first we we'll straight we we'll stand straight legs join both hands beside your hips head straight we are going to stand confidently with a smile in our face next we are going to lift one of our leg up this is specially for concentration hold the leg place it right beside my thigh with as less gap as possible yes now both our hands will be raised up and joined like this stretch your hands above your head smile and concentrate at the point look at the point and try to stay still without falling now we are going to stay in this posture for as long as possible this shows that how much concentration do you have and this also improves your con uh, uh, concentration sorry okay the last now we come back we'll repeat this with the another with our other leg okay same posture leg join both hands beside your body head straight with confidence opposite leg up Hold it. Place it beside your thigh. Raise your hands up. Join it above your head and stretch. Now stay. Look at the point. Try to balance and not fall. And relax. This is called tree pose or rishtasan. Okay. In this, we imitate being a tree. Tree like straight. all and we we have to be very still like a tree okay this improves in concentration this improves in healthy blood circulation around your pelvis area as well as your shoulders this also helps in hip any kind of um hip injury if you have uh, like uh, most of the people um when they play most of the kids when they play they get a lot of injured around the knees around the shin as well as the ankle So this is one thing that will prevent that as well as make it more stronger. Okay, next we'll move on 
to a sitting posture okay just let me adjust this please so first what we did was a flow called surya namaskar now we are doing postures the first posture we did is vrikshasan and now what we are going to do is called baby posture ardha purmashan okay so we are going to sit down like this both our knees join leg join our toes will be flat on the ground it won't be like this it would be flat on the ground can you see okay let me just turn around it's better lighting over there okay we are not going to put our legs like this our our uh, toes will be flat on the ground then we are going to put our hips above our heel like this knees will be joined we look forward sit like this sitting like this is called bajrasan sitting in bajrasan is this this improves digestion now from here we are going to again raise our hands above our head stretch as much as possible now we are going to go forward like this now place our nose and forehead on the ground like this and try not to lift your hip up your hip should not come up like this your hip should be uh, touch uh, should be touching your and stay nose and forehead will be touching the ground hands will be stretched above your head touching the ground your hip will be touching your heel and we are going to stay in this posture breathing will be normal from here we come up we remove our hands down and we relax okay this posture improves this posture improves our front bending that is our flexibility this also strengthens our spine as well as our breathing because when we get down it is very hard to breathe okay now we are going to open our legs sit straight with your spine straight look forward okay now what we are going to do over here is called paschimottanasan maximum front bending okay we are going to sit straight our knees will be touching the ground our thighs as well as our calf will be touching the ground we will sit straight spine will be straight we will raise our hands upwards stretch up take a deep breath and exhale and go down go front stretch your body hold our legs go front and stay in this posture try to put put your body as forward as possible if you are going this much it is very good if you are going going more than this then also it is very good it is nothing like that you have to do exactly like me. no you can do as much as you can okay so we are going to go front and stay okay now relax next we are going to do butterfly i think most of you people must know how to do a butterfly it is very easy we are going to just fold both of our legs like this and join it right at our toes and heel like this okay and then we are going to pull our knees up and down our spine will be straight shoulders wide open head up we are going to do this कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एज वेल एज स्ट्रेंथनिंग योर लेग द नेक्स्ट वन वी डिट वॉज अर्दपुर मार्शल इट इज वेरी गुड फॉर योर स्पाइन एंड ब्रीदिंग the third one we did was paschimottanasan it is very good for again your knees and the opposite side of your knees especially your hamstring muscles as well as your spine this one which we have done it is very good for your pelvis as well as for your digestion okay and now we are going to move on to some pranayams pranayams are very good for concentration hyperactivity as well as um, when people uh, how will i say you have seen kids when they Uh, think too much and cannot concentrate on anything and cannot uh, follow instructions. 
So this is the best way to make kids follow instructions. Breathing exercises. Okay. So now we are going to sit and up on, on our places with our legs folded like this. Spine will be straight. Eyes will be closed. Now we are going to breathe in through our nose and breathe out through our mouth. Mouth like this. Breathe in from our nose and breathe out from our mouth. Breathe in from our nose. Breathe out from our mouth. Again and breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Eyes will be closed. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again. And breathe out. Okay, relax. Now we are going to open our eyes. Then we are going to move forward to our next exercise. Next breathing exercise. Okay. Now what we are going to do? We are going to make an L from our fingers. I think it is too far. Okay. Okay. We are going to make an L like this from our fingers. Another leg, another hand will be making this mudra called Om, placing it on our knees. Another hand will be used like this. Then we are gonna, we are going to keep it on our nose like this. Breathe in from one of the nostrils, and then close the nostril which we have taken the breath from. And then we are going to release it from the another one. And again, we are going to take the breath from the same nostril and release it from the other one. The one we are taking the breath from will be closed, and the breath will be released from the other one. The one we are releasing our breath from will again inhale from the same side. Inhale, close this one. Exhale, again inhale from this one. Close, exhale from the other one. Okay. Close your eyes, and we are going to do this. Okay, sit in our sit at your places like this. Spine straight, eyes closed. Breathe in from one of your nostrils. Close that one. Breathe out from the other. Breathe in from the same nostril. Close that. Breathe out from the other. Breathe in and breathe out. Eyes will be closed. Breathe in. Close your nostrils. Breathe out. From the other, breathe in from the same one. Close that. Breathe out from the other. Breathe in from the same one. Close that one. Breathe out from the other. Breathe in from the same one. Close that and breathe out from the other. Okay, relax. Very good. The last thing which we are gonna do. It is very tricky. Okay, it is very tricky because now we are going to go into an exercise. Okay. We are going to move our body very fast to make sure you see it finally. Okay. Now what we are gonna do? We're gonna stand like this, straight. Okay. Keep our hands above our head like this. Now we are gonna do cross, back, cross, back, cross, back, cross, back. So same thing from the opposite leg. Cross, back. Cross, back, cross, and back. Okay. We are gonna get our bodies to twist like this. Get our legs up and touch, then down. Same thing from the opposite leg. Touch and down. We are gonna do this for ten times. Okay. Ready and start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Same thing from the opposite leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, very good. Relax, please, everyone. Next. I want to know something from you people now. Okay, I want to ask some questions. Okay, is everybody attentive? I want. I want to know some questions. I want to ask some questions now. Okay, what is the first thing that I have done right now? The first thing that I started the session with. Can you name what I was doing? Yes, please. 
Surya Namaskar. Yes, very good. And and can you also tell me how many postures it has? How many postures it has? Anyone else? Fine. Okay. Yes. 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 Anyone else remember how many uh, postures? Pur, 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 pur <laughs> yes. Twelve postures. Twelve postures. Very good. For both of you, very good. You you remember, and you have already, or, and you have also followed through. Very good. Very good. And can you tell me what was the name of this posture which we started in? <laughs> Yes, please. Again. Asa Chandrasan. Yes, very good. That is very good. You people are really, really following me. What I am doing. Okay. Okay. Now, next what we are going to do. Okay. Next what we are we are going to do is the first posture that I have done in the postures. Okay. I want to see you people do it now without my guidance. Okay. The first posture which I am talking about is. Brick fashion, the one in which you stand on one of your legs like this. I want to see everyone do that. Okay, ready? Sorry. Yes, first. Okay, uh, you need to follow my instructions. Okay, the way I say it, you you are going to follow it. Okay, nobody is going to do it before or after. Okay, stand on your place, stand straight, both hands beside your body. Now lift one of your leg up. Lift one of your leg up. Place it against your thighs. Yes. Now take both of your leg, both of your hands up above your head. Very good. Join the hands and stay in that position. Very good. Beautiful. I love it. Keep staying. It's very beautiful. Stay as as long as you can. Yes. Now relax. Very good. Now, same thing will be repeated with the other leg. I want to see you people do it. Uh, okay, so I'm not gonna do it. Okay, so you ready? Stand still. Get the other leg up. Both hands above your head. Slowly raise it above your head and stay. Very good. Try to balance. Concentrate at one place. Very good. Stay. Now relax. Okay. Very good. Now I want to see the next posture we have done. The next posture. We are going to sit on our places. The child pose. Al the Kurmashan. Okay. Child pose. We are going to sit in Bajrashan like this. And I want to see this posture. Okay. Sit on your places. Leg will be joined. Head straight. Both hands above your head. Stretch it as much as you can. Yes, very good. Sit on your sit on your heels and make sure your toe is flat. Sit on your heel. Sit on your heel. Yes. Now go front. Now go front like this. Yes. Make sure your nose and forehead is touching the ground. Go down like this. Make sure your nose and forehead are touching the ground and stay in that posture. Breathing will be normal and stay in that posture. Very good. Okay, relax. Now come up. Don't don't get up. Okay, just come up. You have been sitting like this. Now open your legs. We are going to do the next posture. That was Paschimottanasan. Okay, maximum front bending. Okay. Spine straight, both legs joined. Show me both of your hands up. Stretch your hands up. Now go front. Get down and stay. Yes, very beautiful. Now stay. Head down. Your head will be down. Your hands will be stretched, and you you have to stay in that posture. Yes, your head will be down. Don't look at the camera. I I'll, I'll instruct you. Okay, now relax. Very good. Now we are going to do the last posture. It is more of an exercise than a posture. We are going to do butterfly. Hold your legs in butterfly. 
Yes. Very good. Your spine will be straight. Fold your legs. Join your toes and heels together. Yes. Your spine will be straight. Like this, we are going to do butterfly. Spine will be straight. Make sure your legs goes all the way to the ground. Yes. Very good. Okay, now relax. Now, okay, do you do you people remember the breathing exercise that I told you of? Do you do you remember the breathing exercises? Anybody? Okay, tell me, tell me, Ashi. One where you hold your nose. I'm breathing with that one, the other one. Yes, yes, yes. It it is called anulom bilom. Okay, we breathe in from one, breathe out from the other, and then again breathe in from the same and breathe out from the other one. Okay. Yes. Yes, Priyanjali. Priyanjali. So the things we have learned today. Let's let's revise it again. Okay. Because we don't have a lot of time, I was already a little late due to the connectivity. Okay, so now what we are going to do is just revise what we have done. Okay, first thing we have done is Surya Namaskar. The second thing what we have done is four postures. The last thing which we did was two breathing exercises, and the very last exercise we did was this one, the cross legs one. Okay, this is for your. This is for your. Fine, as well as your energy, you can get your leg as up as you can with your flexibility. Okay, yes, you can go as up as you can. Okay, do you have any questions? Any questions? Any doubts? Or anything you will want to like to share with me? That I can say, and I can. Yes, sure. Okay. okay. Oh, very beautiful. Okay, let me let me spotlight Shubhacha so everyone yes, yes, yes. everyone can see. What are you doing? Yes. Wow, you that's fantastic, Shubhacha. This is beautiful. Very beautiful. What she has done? Yes, what she has done is called. Uh, maximum back bending. Its name is yes, Chakra Bandhan. Thank you so much. This is maximum back bending. I yeah. I think that you also must be attending some competitions. Have you? Yes. Yes. Uh, as if you keep practicing yoga, you can also also become a national, international, as well as a state champion by going to a lot of competitions. Okay. Do you want to see something which I can do? Something fun. Sure. Okay, a little bit fun. Okay, two things I'm going to show you. First thing I'm going to show you stretching, and second thing I'm show you a little bit of hand balance. Okay. If okay, the first thing stretching, we are going to go down as down as possible, like this. This is called maximum stretching. Okay. Wow. Yes. Very good. And now we are going to do this in sideways, like this. Twist. Same thing the other way. Twist. We can all learn this by doing regular practice of the things I have already explained you, already showed you. If we do regular practicing of the same things which I have just showed, especially Surya Namaskar, we can achieve this over time. Okay. Thank you. Now there is just one thing which I would not recommend you kids to follow because it is a little bit risky. So just please watch this and don't do this. I just want to show you that what you can achieve if you keep practicing yoga. Okay. Just one last thing. Okay. Please do not do it. Okay. This is not for you to do right now because you have you people. Most of you have just started yoga and have not had a lot of experience in it. So I just want to tell you, please do not do it, okay? Because I don't want you to hurt yourself, okay? Yes. 
what i am doing is called digression okay this is called digression okay okay this was hand balancing in back rashan with back bending okay and you people can do this if you keep practicing yoga in your day to day life okay try to incorporate yoga everywhere okay it is also kind of sport which you can play which you can learn and which you can achieve in life and has yoga will also make your body healthy it will give give you a lot of movement it will give you a lot of flexibility which will help you in the long run okay and it is a very fun thing to do when you will show your friends that see my body bends like this then your friends are going to be like wow you can do that you know right okay so did you like this session okay okay yes you can say yes yeah okay, i was um what was the four postures that we what was the four postures called that we did after the surya okay, the first yes yes the first posture is called vrikshasan three pose okay the first posture is called vrikshasan or three pose the second posture is called um uh, the second posture yes the uh, the second posture is called uh, ardha kurmasan or child pose ardha kurmasan or child pose the next posture which we did is called paschimottanasan paschimottanasan and the last posture which we have done the last posture we done was was it was butterfly okay we did butterfly it was more of a exercise less of a posture it was somewhere in the middle okay okay thank you okay. thank you did you did, did you kids like it yes okay, thank you it was great to have you kids Thank you very much, Shonali, for Bye -bye. such a fantastic yes, session. Thank you so much. The kids were very cooperative, and they were doing, as I said, they were also very interactive. I loved it. Thank you so much to all of you. Thank you so much, Shonali, for your time thank and you so the, the the postures yes, that you talked about, particularly to gain their concentration, which is a key area at the, their early years now. So, and like you said, if they practice it, they would master. And you have shown them what they could achieve by practicing. So that was fantastic. That is something a goal for them to look forward to. And of course, how to manage their hyperactivity. Um, it was brilliant. Thank you, for, and I'm sure the kids who uh, have loved it. and perhaps we can plan up some point next time but next week we are here for the teenagers and followed by the adult yes. session so thank you very much shonali yes, for course. your time thank from you. all of us thank you bye -bye. and thank you children bye -bye. for you. taking part bye -bye. thank you very much thank you and bye bye now for bye -bye. Thank, thank you thank you to you as well bye pleasure